girl math, boy math, sneaker math. We've heard all, all of the maths, okay? If you don't like math, it's not really a good time to be on social media. Or if you like it and you enjoy a lot of sarcastic humor, then it's the perfect time to be on social media right now. So it started with girl math, but then men just couldn't keep quiet. And then women started firing back about boy math. And let me tell you, it just doesn't uh, doesn't compute to anything logical. Like, oh, I have 200 pairs of sneakers. You have one set of sheets. So make it make sense. Yeah, so again, boy math, girl math, all of that was floating around. So you just knew that sneaker math would pop up some way, somehow, and hasn't disappointed. It's certainly funny to me, at least. And I may scroll through some of the other uh, posts that I've seen for Complex because they, they did a post and quite a few people re re responded to that. So I want to look at one post today. It is in relation to the Air Jordan 1 high satin bread ones. Now, of course, that's for women. So this is a women's exclusive drop. Let me put this out there right now. I'm not going for it. I even had a friend who had a pair. She had another seven and a half. She said, hey, would you like these? I said, you know, thanks, but no thanks. And for me, it's a pair that I was on the fence about. I already have the Flyknit pair. Like, I, I think I've said this in recent videos, right? I already have the Flyknit pair, okay? So have them. Um, I have the patent leather pair. I don't have the all leather pair, which I really want. I had the 2013 pair, traded that away. I just, I hate it the way they fit. I would love the 2016 pair, but in my, this is just for me. This has nothing to do with anyone else. I don't know that I can justify having the exact same shoe in four different textures. Like, I just don't know that I can personally justify that. I don't. And I have a number of shoes that are like the same colorway, but I still don't know if I can, per I can justify the same exact shoe, the same exact colorway, just four different textures. I don't know that I can do that. Like one is boiled, one is fried, one is sauteed, and I don't know, just come up with another way in which one is, is cooked. And that's what it, that's what it appears to be. One is like, I don't know, a creme brulee uh, finish on it. So I personally just decided to pass on the women's satin bread one. If you're going for it, awesome. I wish you the best. If you're a man and you're still going for it, I'm not getting into that conversation. Here's the comedy though. People in sneakers just expose themselves and it's classic, it's timeless. Thank you for the laughs. You don't know that you're doing it, but thank you for the laughs. People in sneakers expose themselves and they've done this before with previous drops. When you take a look at some of the retros that have dropped, back in the day, they were limited. Now, not so much. They come out and they are more so just GRs that anyone can realistically get their hands on if they try hard enough or if they're lucky or if they're willing to just pay a little bit above retail. I mean, like resale isn't crazy. It's not as crazy as what it has been on a lot of different shoes. So if you're willing to do that, then you can get the pair. What we are discovering, <laughs> it was the exclusivity. It was you feeling like you were somebody because you had something that not a lot of people had that made you want the shoe or, or care about the shoe. It's pretty shallow. It's pretty shallow. We can say that, right? We can, we can say that. And if you don't want to agree, that's fine. It's pretty shallow. It's very surface level, okay? That you only wanted something because it was super limited, not because you love the design, the colorway, any of that. You wouldn't care as much if that were the case. We've seen that with fours that have dropped. We'll probably continue to see that with pairs that were limited once in the, back in the day and they're not anymore. Just like the Satin Bread 1. It was numbered at one point. A very low number. It's now going for the thousands, okay? It's in the thousands for a number of size, pretty much every size, right? Here's sneaker math. People are exposing themselves. Here's sneaker math, okay? Uh, more sneaker math. So shout out to JD for this. He said, a seller has a shoe that costs $170 retail, but wants you to give them $8,000 for them. You prefer the nearly identical retail release, but they call you poor or broke. They call you the poor or broke one for not wanting to pay their mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> Which I appreciate that part, right? So, of course, when shoes originally drop, they are reasonable. They are at, well, somewhat reasonable. Shoes are going up and that, we're, we're going into unreasonable territory for what you get, AKA 215 for a military four, absolutely not. So we're moving into unreasonable for a lot of these drops, but if it's, it's reasonable, let's just say, okay, 170 still for a shoe and it skyrockets up because it's limited. You didn't really stand a chance in hell to get that pair back in the day. And it wasn't mint sizing, I'll say that. You don't want to pay the four, the five, the six, the seven. No bands do you want to pay for this shoe. It really is like a down payment on a car. I, for the eight grand, okay, I could just go ahead and pay off most of the student loans that I have right now. So the eight grand, you don't want to pay for this shoe. So you're patient. You're like, I'm not pulling the trigger on that. Jordan Brand says, hey, 2023, we'll provide you 
pretty much the same shoe. I get that the shape can somewhat be different. None of you are walking up to another grown man on the street. I certainly hope you're not. Please check yourself if you are. Walking up to another grown man on the street to say, the shape looks a little, what, what, which pair is that? Is that the number pair? Is that the women's pair? You're not doing that, okay? So since you're not, let's just be real, you're not doing that. You guys do this on the internet. You don't do this in real life. People don't even care about the shoes on your feet half the time in real life. You're not doing that. So because the person will not drop eight bands on a shoe that's all satin bread one, they are able to wear the women's pair. It's readily available. It's easily accessible for them. They get that shoe. Now, you know the term that's coming out that I can't stand? Oh, it's the poor man's this. Not only are you exposing yourself, because some people right now, they probably felt that the shoe was fire back in the day. It's not anymore, is it not because it's not exclusive? Like it's lost the ability to make you feel special. That was your mom's job, okay? It lost the, now you don't have, now you can't feel special. So now it's a problem. Exposing yourself. More than anything, people in sneakers, they will expose themselves the second something is no longer limited and it's just available to the masses, then it's a problem, right? You guys weren't calling the Panda Dunk the worst sneaker in the game right now and it was hard to get <laughs> hard to get your hands on it. You didn't call it that, but now it's easy to get. So now it's like all of a sudden the worst shoe. Be sure to check out that video because I have it posted uh, here for you to laugh at, hopefully, uh, along with myself. But the, the, the reseller math, well, for some resellers, right? Everybody doesn't feel that way. But the math, the logic to say anything is a poor man's, to want to bash it because it's this and it's not that, and to think that somebody is broke because they won't pay for the numbered pair, they'll keep thousands in their pocket, buy the satin bread one for women if they're able to wear it, and just go about their day. We have lost the plot. I mean, I, I felt like we lost it a long time ago, but we have certainly lost it right now. Stop getting on the internet saying this poor man's anything, really just going off about the fact that, oh, like you don't want to pay, you can't, you're just gonna, gonna go ahead and get this newer one. Yes, they are, they're gonna get the newer one. It should not bother you, it should not concern you. If you can't move that eight grand shoe, you have the wrong clientele and maybe do better as a reseller and a business owner. That's what I would say to you, personally. You don't have to agree with that. That's how I feel. So, like I said, you can be sure to check out the video of me having to defend the plastic panda of all things in 2023. What did I do to have to do that? Okay, I just feel like I'm a nice person. I just feel like I should. I haven't put in that position, but I definitely defend it, the plastic panda, because people are just, they're lying. Just stop the cap when it comes to that. Uh, for the satin bread one, go after it if you want it, if you love it, especially ladies, okay? Um, wish you nothing but the best in getting that pair. I will continue to enjoy my fly knit pair, my uh, low pair, my patent leather pair, and keep it pushing. I don't see this being super high in terms of resale because women are much more averse to wanting to pay these crazy prices that I think men are more inclined to rush out and pay for shoes. And that's another video I want to uh, I want to do and discuss with you guys coming up soon. So please be sure you are subscribed so you know when videos drop. Be sure to hit the like button if you like this video. Comment below, are you even interested in the bread one? And do you feel as like, do, do, do you agree with me that more and more sneakers that are no longer limited, they become GRs, they expose people for the exclusivity, they just appreciate it for the pair. Please take care of yourself, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.